Okay, thank you everyone. So current first time I think the overview of Python, right? And uh, I don't know behind the Python how many people use interesting about the community. Now I saw there's still many people interested about community because today my talk is not talking about any technology. We just share some experience and also share some history of PyCon or PyCon in Asia. So thank you everyone to join us. Yeah. So if you want to t any question, just ask me because I think the this session is very easy and very relaxed. So. Don't hashtag. If any question, don't hashtag to tell me now. Okay, my talk will introduce the PyCon conference and the community in Asia. And of course, as part of me, part of my duty, I have to introduce the PSF, which means the Python Software Foundation. So this is my topic, PyCon and the community and the PSF. So the first time, I also have to introduce my community too. Uh, I am the not evangelist. I am the promotion, the force Asia for my community everywhere. So, anyone have anyone know the force Asia now? No. Okay. Anyone? If you're interested about force Asia, it's easier. Just Google it. And uh, we also have the GitHub, because this session is not talking about force Asia, so I don't want to spend much more time about it. But the force Asia is a very <coughs> Sorry, it's a very interesting, and also they have a lot of project, open source project can help you to learn, or you can contribute together. And also, if you have interesting project you want to share, you want to announce to around the world, we are very welcome you to join us. Just tell me or tell my uh, the Force Asia people. So if you have an interesting project, don't hashtag to let's join together. And the first time, I always thank you everyone to join us. Uh, not joining us, join the community and also join the conference. Because um, I know, uh, usually I always, if I have a chance, I won't always try to go everywhere, every PyCon, try to introduce the PyCon there. And the mostly I cannot finish my talk. So now I know, I have to say thank you first. Otherwise, I don't have the chance to say thank you. So anyway, one of you is a very important people to join us because without you, the conference cannot make it. And also, not only you, not only Passbet, uh, we have very thank you the staff and very thank you our sponsor. Of course, the speaker, uh, thank you, me too. Yeah, and of course, we have a thank you all volunteer. Yes, me too, that. thank you everyone. And uh, before that, I think the mo now you are joining the Python conference, right, PyCon. So, how many PyCon you know? You already know that. Um, behind the Indonesia, and uh, we know there are many, many PyCon around the world, right? So, have you heard of the PyCon US? This is why I say over here. The PyCon US, the biggest the PyCon in the world. I think if you have a chance, I really, I highly recommend, please try to go to America and try to join the PyCon US. I believe they will change your mind, and also probably you will change your future, because there are most people, most talented people, or the most important people in Python will go there. So if you want to make meet people, you want to make very important people, or want to meet some people who are interested like you, the PyCon US is a very good idea to go in there. And be, be, uh, the not only the PyCon US, we also have another conference which called the uh, Euro Python. The Euro Python is also the second biggest the one. Uh, this, I think the big is not talking about the quantity. We're talking about the size. Size including the quality of the talk and the organizer and also the, the system they run in. The PyCon US, I think, is the biggest one. And the second one should be the Euro Python. So if we have a chance, I really highly recommend find one. For example, you can go to America to join the PyCon US, or you can follow the status or follow the, the trip of the Euro Python. Because I, uh, I didn't join the US, uh, PyCon US yet, but I assure you I will go to America for joining the PyCon US 2020. Because I know this, will, this is the most important PyCon around the world. So if we have a purpose, if we don't have any purpose, 
try to find one and try to make uh, save money to go to America. Me too, because I also spend a lot of money to travel in around the world. So I think it's very important to save money. But it's worth, really, it's worth. It can help you, and also it can change your mind. Just because you go there and uh, try to meet people and reach people, this is the biggest. The Python US and also the Euro Python is a one. The both of them are very important conference, and also they really they have the most talented people. They will share latest news or latest technology, and also they will share their experience to you. I truly believe you can. If you join there, you will become the one of the. Now I cannot I cannot say the leader of them, but totally you will change your mind. So I uh, please you if you have a chance, please go to America or Europe Python. And another one, I think probably you will see this PyCon APAC, PyCon APAC. Anyone know the PyCon APAC now? Thank you. Uh, actually, the PyCon APAC started in about 2010 in Singapore. Now it's almost nine years. But uh, I think the, we have to do many, many things more than PyCon APEC. This, I, if we have a chance, I will introduce and I will share my feeling about that. And uh, both of them is the three major conferences around the world. So if we have a chance, I want to, if you, have, if you can go to the APEC, it looks like that you go to America or Euro Python. You don't go to, so far from there. Because you know that America is took about uh, 14 hours, maybe. 15 hour, 14 hour. Euro Python also took about a 70 hour or 80 hour. So the uh, PyCon APEC usually will run in Asia, so it's most more close. And probably maybe in the next year or next next year in the Indo Indonesia, yeah, perhaps we have we have a chance to organize the PyCon APEC in, Indo in Indo Indonesia. So it should be happen in the future. So okay, let's talk about the community. So now uh, we are. Let me. When I check the GiveMeUp.com, they are talking about. They are show me. They are have the over two thousand community meetup in the worldwide. You're talking about Python, and also they have the two million people join the Python meetup group. So I think one of you already joined that because you are now in. Python. Your conference, so you also the one of them, and uh, this number is just a little, just a small size of the all Python user around the world. But if you, uh, if you now join that, so you are bigger or you are ahead of the other people because you join the community now. So I think uh, very thank you for everyone to join the community because of the the same as say without you. The Python group is not the biggest the com uh, computer language group in the world. And really, Python group is the biggest one. It's bigger than C, and bigger than Java, and bigger than other language. So without you, we cannot make it. Thank you again. OK, they were talking about the others. Because we know the, every community, we should be the kind of the leader, or kind of the uh, organization to help the community or conference. In the Python, we know every time we download the Python, where will you download it? Usually we just Google it, and then we'll guide you to go to the Python.org, right? So have you think the who running the Python.org, this website? It should, this is the one, the Python Software Foundation. So have anyone go to the Python.org? I think uh, uh, part to me, uh, when I learn Python, actually I just download the Python and don't and uh, I never visit it again, until I join the group, I join the Python PSF community. Otherwise, I didn't really, I never visit the Python all again. <laughs> but actually, they have a lot of resources, a lot of the data and the tutorial can help you to know more than Python, more the Python, the information of Python. So. Uh, when you're talking about Python Software Foundation, also we have to thinking to go to the Python.org, really, because they have a lot of data. They have created the data from the community, community and also the frontier. This means uh, including you. You also can contribute your, uh, your knowledge in there, the Python.org. So don't be hesitant, just go, just, just go there. And uh, one of the PS mission is, uh, this is also, as I said, it's my duty, so I have to uh, 
I say that again. The mission of the Python Software Foundation is to promote, protect, and a friend to the Python programming language, and it's a port to fanatical or the gross or diverse the international community of Python programmer. I uh, think the, all of you can understand, right? It's a thinking, it's an easy way. It means the find PSF is the support of every Python conference and also support every PyCon programmer. So it means if you have any problem, you can go there and also you can ask the people in the Python Software Foundation. Like I'm guaranteed that some people will help you to answer your question. So you are not the only one, or you will not feel very lonely when you learn the Python, because you know this is the biggest the language in the, around the world, and also this is a lot of people can help you to try to help you to solve your problem. So don't be hesitant to just go there. And also this I mentioned about the Euro Python. So Euro Python also have a layer mission. Actually, it's very similar, but also it's my also my, my one of my duty. So. I'm a member of PSF and I'm also a member of the EuroPython too. So uh, I have to say again, the EuroPython Society's mission is to future the using of the programming language Python in Europe and organize the event the centering around the programming language Python to support this. So I think the mo you can understand, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot speak Indonesia language. So okay, uh, I think it's not a difficult language to understand. Thank you. And uh, now we are talking about the function of the PSF. Now, usually I said uh, the PSF is not the only the website we download the Python code. Uh, also, the, they have, can help you a lot of the function. One of them is the grant program. Can, this means the financial support. If you organize the conference or organize the meetup or event, actually, you can try to ask help, ask support from the PSF. It's called a grant program. Also, they also had an infrastructure about the foundation, the make the website or make some useful tool or the useful technology for the Python. Like the, have you go, do you know, everyone know the PyPy, right? PYPI, PyPy, and, and also the Pi video. This is now the two, this website is now running and maintained by the PSF now. And uh, running and maintaining is including the volunteer and also engineer from the PSF. So one of you also can become the member of LAN and also can help or be the member of the technology or be the member or uh, in charge of the website like LAN. So it's, don't be hashtag, that's right, how I say. And also another purpose, another purpose and maintain and organize the PyCon US that's why I say it's the biggest the PyCon around the world. So now the PyCon US is running by the PSF. Okay. So besides that, and uh, we know the uh, just as I said because you know the highest the biggest problem to organize the event or conference. You know, we usually we are running of the money or the people or the venue or the some problem. But I think the money it could be the hardest problem or it could be the easiest problem. It's like the, you can ask the people to help you. The PSF is also the one of the people can help you. So like that, the EWA is the uh, operator, uh, director of uh, operation of PSF. He just, uh, he just uh, have tweet like that. He showed you how PSF can help you to run the conference like that. Because the Christopher, they show you a few years ago, he just asked help from the PSF to organize the open source conference. Uh, so they got it, they got the uh, grant, and also they can organize the conference. And also now they become the, the, another conference behind the Python. So it's not only the Python conference, it's also help to other language like that. It's only the one purpose, it means the don't hashtag. You can ask anyone. You can just go forward and just go there and just you just click, just click, uh, send a mail to them and tell you what your purpose and they tell them what your question. Usually, you got a response there. So when we're talking about PSF, we also have talking about the Python community. This also the Python community also the topic in the website. So this is why I say that we just we not only for the focus about download. You know. Sorry, 
this we not only focus about the download, we also have focus about the other the topic, like the documentation. You know the, the Python type <coughs> Python documentation is very uh, detailed for everyone. The every day or every uh, probably every day really, probably every day some people will try to fix uh, some uh, issue or running one a typo. So you can be the one of them, I said. I already said you can be the one of them. You just record and just uh, see any anything left or anything wrong and just fix them and uh, record it. And also, I this, this page is talking about the community. It's why I say Python is not the only the language. It's uh, also it's a powerful the community. Because as I say, the Python conference or community is the biggest conference in the uh, biggest community around the world. So the how to run in the Python community, it is running by you, becoming by all, all frontier. So if I want to, for example, if I want to organize the community or the conference, how could I do? The, usually we just ask the other community, the local community nearby. For example, you can go to the Java community or just go to the JavaScript community and ask them how to organize. Or you can go to the website, the PSF website, Python.org website, and click the Python community. They will teach you how to organize them. So just always say, uh, this Python is a lot, a lot of the data, a lot is a treasure about for Python, including the technology and also including the running the community. So it's, it's very, very good website for everyone, yeah. So now, now we have talking about uh, uh, the how to, what the PSF made it. The PSF now we have a membership <coughs> Sorry, the membership including the backs member and the supporting member, manager member, contributor member, and the fellow. Uh, do you know the risky? Anyone do know risky? The chairman of the PyCon Indonesia 2017 and 18. The risky, yeah, risky. I, sorry, I don't know. The, I forgot the full name. <laughs> I just know the first name is the risky. <laughs> <laughs> he is the fellow of the Python, uh, PSF now. Yeah, so if you, I think the not only risky, the Indonesia have a lot, lot of talent people, so I believe uh, you can create a, a second fellow in the Indonesia too, yeah. So don't be hashtag. But become the fellow, the first step, please join the basic member first because we don't, we, don't, uh, we don't require any certification or any skill. Just click the website and try to set up, uh, sign out some information about you. Then you can become a best member. And uh, what's the benefit of the best member? I have, I have to say, only to say, actually it's not so much benefit. But if you join the best member, you can get the latest news including the new is the, the Python. For example, the Python 3.0 will be announced next year, right? So you can get the latest the news about, latest the notification about the newest the version of Python. And also you can join the community. This means the, you can join, for example, you can try to become the next step. Next step including the manager member and the contributor member. The manager member is talking about how to manage the community or conference. Uh, contribution, me contribution member is mean that it's more easier because everyone is a Python engineer, right? Uh, if you are not a Python engineer, I'm very, very curious why you're here. But no problem. Yeah, you can, we, well, welcome everyone. So the contribution member is mean that you have a lot of the Python con uh, project, and also you spend uh, over five hours per week. In, uh, in the Python soft open source project. If you, quality, if you do like that, something like that, you can try to submit. Your, you can try to uh, uh, talking about your contribution to the PSF. Then when they submit, when they review your contribution, you will give you the contribution member. And also the manager member is also the most easier. The manager member is the mean that if you are organizer, for example, like this year, the Dolly, uh, Duni, sorry, Duni or Tigra or Lava, they are also organizers, so they can try to submit their contribution in organizing community or conference, so they can become a community com manager member. So what's the benefit of the, man uh, the manager member or contribu 
contribution member. The actually, the most uh, benefit is you can fault the fellow, or you can decide the board member of PSF. Actually, this looks like not so, uh, not so interesting, right? But this is a very interesting per the part is you can decide the future of the PSF, and also you can decide the future of the Python. For example, if you are very good about Python, probably you can join the Python developer group. Now I, I have just talking about because this talk, uh, my talk is not talking about the Python developer group. This is another. This is another part of Python, and uh, you can talking about PSF is running the related to the community and conference, and the Python version is related to the Python developer group. But uh, actually, the most of the Python developer group is part is a member of P PSF too. So if you join them, now you can jo try to uh, work more harder to show your contribution. Then you can join the Python developer group. This means the this mean you can decide the your next future of Python in your mind. So uh, be the member of the PSF. The mostly you got a lot of duty and also you got a lot of support because you join the I said now the member of the major member and the contribution member I remember is just only the two thousand or three thousand people it's not so big but the two, this people is a very talent it's almost a talent most talent people and the world so if you join them you can got a lot of support from them and also you have you can try to compete the people like that. If I can do that, if I can do something like that, or if I, if I can offer, make offer like that. So if you do want to make compete to that, then you can make yourself to move to next step. It's most important for yourself. I joined the PSF member since 2016, and I become the manager member to 2017. Until now, I think the, I got a lot of support, so I can try for it. For example, I go to every PyCon around the world including uh, now it's Indonesia, but I also go to the other, like uh, Singapore, Taiwan, Hong Kong, no, sorry, this time not Hong Kong, the other Kai Kong. So I think uh, my, of my duty is the latest news about them, including the PSF. So this is very lot of me and a lot of support I got. So if I can got it, I think uh, you all, all of you can got it. So. Please join the best member and also try to try to become the manager member or the contributing member, or you can become a fellow, like a risky. I think I can. How? Well, besides all that, I think the most of you is a fair question about how could I contact or how could I reach the people in the PSF, right? It's more it's easier. You can see it's the PSF.org. Uh, PSF at PSN.org is must. It's directly to the report to the board member. This is why I say the PSF has running by, we have the committee. The committee is running by board member. So you can select which people can become the board member to run, it's a board member can, the duty of a board member can decide the future of the PSF too. So if any question, just no hesitate, just mail them. And also the EWA, uh, and this is why I said the previous page, previous page the EWA is running about a PSF. His the title is the director of operation. Also, another one is the Bestie. The Bestie is also running about a PSF too. But mostly, he can help you to the like a sponsorship. Also, the running about the uh, can help you uh, guide you how to run in the community. And the chairman will be uh, the Naomi san. I'm sorry, Na um, Naomi. Naomi Sater. Naomi Sater is a very gentle man, gentle the person. She working in the Python and also she writing the person the the, the, the I am sorry Naomi I forgot the your book. <laughs> he have the very famous book. It's a basic book to teach people who don't know how to code in the Python. It's a very famous book. So if you are interesting, you can Google it. So if you want to teach your children or the people who don't know of any program language, you can use in this book. It's very useful. And uh, she also a very gentle, uh, very nice person, yeah. And also, I said, uh, how many contact you can, can contact PSF? Like that, we have website, of course. We have blog. And also, we have very important message is the mailing list. And also, we have a Slack, Twitter, 
and the uh, IRC. The Twitter is the most uh, the message, uh, direct message from the PSF. It's the, the instant message and instant news will be announced in the Twitter first. Also, we have announced other channel, but the Twitter is most public, it's the easy and the faster way to know the latest news from PSF. So behind of that, the Sun Frontier, they also create the some uh, the function, or oh, like the map, or like the Canada. This is the Canada made by the Frontier, really. It's not made by PSF. But a lot of Frontier running the, try to collect the information of Python. Because uh, in my latest, later page, I will show you how many, can, uh, how many conference or me are running every year, every year. You can see this, this is a, they are, I'm sorry, because the, this year, uh, sorry, this month, the November, there are not so many, not so many uh, conference now. But the, uh, October, you can see there are so many conference, right? So you can see, if you have a chance to go to other country, maybe you can join the co local community or local conference event and just check, just check the calendar. Yeah, it's most easier. And also you can join everyone who interested in the Python. It's much more important there. Then we're talking about the, the conference. So I think the many people, you are now you are joining the conference in the PyCon Indonesia. Uh, this was, I, in, I take in, in my research, the first the PyCon in Asia will be India. Now, I, uh, we are very happy. We are one of my friends, uh, Abishi, is from the India. He also the speaker in the morning and in the runtime. And the second one is uh, Singapore. And also, it's also the first uh, PyCon APAC in the, in the all the history of our conference in Asia. Next one, the Japan and the China, Taiwan, Philippines, Malaysia, Korea, Hong Kong, Indonesia now, and the Thailand. Uh, latest one is the Kyushu. Uh, actually, Kyushu is, is the, uh, how do I define the Kyushu? Kyushu is the area of Japan. So uh, some people were wondering, may I organize the different PyCon in the one country? The, actually, yes. Uh, but uh, in the, uh, how do I say it? We, in the part of the, uh, in, the few, in the point of few of PSF, they don't want to do like that because they want to make one country has one PyCon. So if you want to organize another PyCon, you try to use another name. For example, now that Japan, they have the mini PyCon or the India, now, originally have India PyCon Daily or PyCon India and also the PyCon uh, Bangalore, they mean PyCon. But now they change the name, for example, they can organize the Fake Data Daily or Pi Data uh, Sci Pi India or Sci Pi Japan. The, you can choose the purpose, the, what purpose you want to organize because now the Python is made, made many people using the data for the Python, right? Using Python for the data. So probably you can organize the data, like PyData or the SciPy or something like that. It's much more important. And the, now I show you have another one is the uh, Vietnam and Australia. Unfortunately, the Australia is not part, is not want to join the APEC team. Uh, we are working on it. Okay, and the next one is a very important thing I want to share. Because now, have you, how many people know we have a survey, the Python have a survey to ask the Python programmer to know what's the problem or what's the, uh, anything we can do the better in the Python or Python community. The JetBrain, the today they will also see the also one of our sponsors is JetBrain, right? Thank you, JetBrain. The JetBrain also the working with the Python Software Foundation to set up the survey to share and to know and will be to make the decision for the next year to how could we do better in the Python or Python Software Foundation or the anything about that. So please, if you have time, uh, what's the problem? You have time, please go to the survey of the Python to Okay. Yeah. If we have time, only five minutes. 
Really? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I'm spending too much time. Okay, anyway, take a picture first. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's also uh, have a result of a Python. And, uh, okay, let me show you okay, about the Python community. What's so Oh, how can I make it? <laughs> okay, the first PyCon usually will be held in Philippines because uh, usually Philippines will be the first PyCon around uh, in, in the first uh, in Asia. The, also, the, this year, the PyCon Philippines was held in September, uh, February. This is also the APEC, uh, the old country in the Philippines too. So now the next year should be in Malaysia. So if we have a chance, please follow the PyCon Malaysia if we want to join the PyCon APEC next year. Okay, next one will be Kyushu in the, in Kyushu will be in the May. So Kyushu, like what I say, is a part of the, is an area in the Japan, but it's a Kyushu in the Okinawa. Okinawa is a very beautiful island for them. So if you have time, you can sightsee in there and to try after the Python conference. So if we, you also can meet a lot of people, very passionate people in the Python conference too. And the next one is Thailand. Uh, how many people go to Thailand too? If you know, yeah, oh, thank you, yeah, thank you, yeah. I think some people, because Thailand is not far from here, right? Oh, sorry, not far from Jakarta, but far from here. But you also can connect your fly from Thailand. But the Bangkok, the Thailand, uh, Paikon Thailand is very unique just because the organizers, part of the most organizer is a foreigner, it's very special anyway. But uh, in the quality of the Pi conference is the same. Every PyCon is similar. But if you have a chance, I really recommend to try to go out. And probably the Pi Thailand is a very good idea to go to the, the first uh, foreigner PyCon. Yeah. Another one is Korea. And also I want to say, how many people go to Korea too? And uh, Korea, PyCon Korea actually is the biggest PyCon in Asia. The full thought, they started in 2015, and uh, now in 2016, in running the APEC, they already offered 1,500 1, people. And this year, in 2019, they offered 2,000 people attending. So the PyCon Korea now is the biggest PyCon in Asia. I believe if they don't mean limit the ticket, it should be offered 3,000 people attending, yeah, really. There are so many Python, Python uh, use Python programmer in Korea and also love to community and want to join there. And the uh, next one is Malaysia. Malaysia was held in August. This is a small size. It's running about uh, three pe 300 people. Uh, it's a small size, but you can get a lot of passion about that. Because you know it's the, the how to determine the, uh, the quality, quality of conference. You can determine the size, of course, so you can determine the quality of a talk. The Python, Python Malaysia also, I got a lot of passion from the Malaysia too. And also, they can introduce, they will introduce the Malaysia culture, and also they will try to uh, emerge the special idea about the Malaysia. So that's why I say, you know, when you go to the other country, the other PyCon is not going to, to talk. You also join the community, also join the culture. It's much more important. And this one will be Japan. Uh, I think uh, many people join Japan, right? It's more because it's, uh, no, probably not, sorry. <laughs> because it's the, not, the big, not, not the big one, but it's very important one because they run in the PyCon over the ninth year, oh sorry, ninth year, and uh, the, this is, PyCon Japan is the first country who had the foundation to run in the conference. The PyCon Japan is a legal foundation in Japan now. They run, they support and run in the community and the conference every year. I think the probably they run in the mini group, the group or the meetup or the event or conference every week. They have a Canada, if you're interested, you can follow Canada to show you how attractive for the PyCon Japan, really. So if you have a chance, please go there. And this time, the, we are two people from Japan. The one of them, one of the, the uh, one is the Takanori, uh, Suzuki Takanori-san. Suzuki Takanori-san is the chairman of the PyCon Japan 2017 to, uh, 15 to 70. And uh, he also gave you a lot of passion. You can see even the Japanese uh, language is different, quite different. But he will try to communicate with you because you know they have a lot of passion about all Python engineers. This one will be Taiwan. I'm coming from Taiwan, by the way. And uh, this year, PyCon Taiwan will be a little bit special. They have uh, 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 the well, okay, time out, but I think uh, probably you have the one minute, okay? <laughs> okay, anyway, the Taiwan will be held. Uh, our next one is Singapore. 
So Singapore is also close to that. There's last one is India. That's why I said uh, India is very interesting part. I also bring some sticker or some the uh, badge from India. So if interesting, can I can give you some sticker or drag. That's why I said uh, India is very very uh, this uh, the, how do I say <laughs> incredible India. This really, really incredible. This one in China, this is a very special one because this is the first time they are invited a foreigner to join them. I also, I also go there to introduce the PISF and PyCon around the world in the PyCon China this time. And they are very welcome you, everyone, to join the PyCon China next year or in the future. And then now we got the Indonesia. Have you seen the logo of the PyCon, the logo on the left side? This is Surabaya, the Sura and Baya, right? The left, uh, the bottom one is the first the logo of the Surabaya, uh, Pai Kang, Surabaya Pai. It's also the logo of the Surabaya Pai. The upper logo is this time, this year. I think it's very cute. And the uh, APEC team, okay, if you have a chance, please go there. Yeah, we have a community too. I think we have not so many time. It's this community in Taiwan, and so the Pai ladies around the world, and also in Asia, we have many, many country with support the Pai ladies. Please, if you are single, you are female, uh, female here, if you're interested, please join. Also, probably you can organize them, yeah. And also, we have jungle girls, yeah. Please help, try to think about it. So, okay, please join now. And this is, I think this, this is my last page, or my last message you want to share. Please respect diversity. Thank you. Uh, if the next speaker didn't show up, is the next speaker, next session, next talk speaker now here? If no, I think, may I share some slide now? Okay, if no, if not next speaker not yet, okay, let's go in. I think the, now we are not the Gretel, right? The Gretel from the Twindle. Uh, everyone know Gretel, but do you know that she stayed out, stayed, stayed down for the, uh, the tea? We this year and next year we have some the small uh, celebrate to thank you Gretel what you do because the Gretel this uh, by the way have you everyone know the how which the first year of Python is 30 years ago it's a, uh, 19 yeah 1989 so in this year 2019 is the 30 years of Python so we are thinking the Gretel is working a lot and also we are thank you if you, uh, the Python can give you everyone to have to new skill to do many things like that. So we have thank you the Gredo. This is time in in the Philippines, and also the great the Gredo also is prize. Yeah, <laughs> I think the one more thing is the woman who call. If we have a chance, you know, when you use that, you know, woman who call, anyone know the woman who call? Okay, thank you. Yeah. So I just asking. Probably we don't have a woman who call in the Indonesia, right? I, but I saw that in they, they have a group in the Indonesia, but just only the run, just only in the meetup.com. It's not organized in the woman who call. If you want to organize the woman who call, you can try to submit your community in the woman who call. This one is the, in the Manila. You can see the founder of the woman, the woman who call Manila is the male. It's the male founding because he said he think the female the probably. He needed some people help. So first time he helped them. So <coughs> this is Mark. The latest, uh, this is Mark, also the chairman of the PyCon Philippine APEC uh, this year. He found in the woman who called this line, and uh, thank you for him. And also not only him, this is the center uh, is the CEO of the woman who called. And anyway, if you want to join that, or want to organize, or want to uh, if you have, the, you already organized the meal, you try to submit your community there. Thank you. <laughs>